Josephine? Yes. Oh. Josephine? Yes, dear. Is there a reason you stopped reading Belsham? I'm sorry. I'll continue. You mind yourself, dearie. Someday you'll need me, and you'll wish you had behaved better. Thank you, Aunt March, for your employment and your many kindnesses, but I intend to make my own way in the world. No, oh, well, no, no one makes their own way. Not really. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, Aunt March. Well, that's because I'm rich. And I made sure to keep hold of my money, unlike your father. Well, so the only way to be an unmarried woman is to be rich? Yes. But there are precious few ways for women to make money. That's not true. You could run a cat house or go on the stage. Practically the same thing. Other than that, you're right. Precious few ways for women. That's why you should heed me. Yeah, so I can get married. No, so you can live a better life than your poor mother has. But Marmy loves her life. You don't know what she loves. Your father cared more about educating Friedman's children than he did about caring for his own family. Yes, but he was right. Well, it's possible to be right and foolish. Well, I don't think so. Well, you're not paid to think. I know you don't care much about marriage now. I can't say I blame you. But I intend to go to Europe one more time, and I need a companion, so how would you like to be the person I take? I'd like that more than anything. All right, then read. And don't sneak around. I don't like sneaks. President Lincoln.